Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Rio de Janeiro Rio de Janeiro is a city located in southeastern Brazil, known for its beautiful beaches, stunning landscape, and lively culture. It was the capital of Brazil until 1960 when it was replaced by Brasilia. The city is famous for its carnival celebrations, which attract millions of visitors every year. During carnival, the streets of Rio de Janeiro are filled with music, dancing, and colorful costumes. The Sambadrome, a large stadium designed specifically for carnival, hosts the famous Samba Parade, where Samba schools compete in a spectacular display of dance and pageantry. Some of Rio de Janeiro's other notable landmarks include the iconic Christ the Redeemer statue, which overlooks the city from atop Corcovado Mountain. The Sugarloaf Mountain, the Copacabana and Ipanema Beaches, and the Maracana Stadium, which hosted the final of the 2014 FIFA World Cup, Rio de Janeiro has a rich cultural heritage, with a blend of Portuguese, African, and indigenous influences. The city is also home to several museums, such as the National Museum of Fine Arts, the Museum of Modern Art, and the Museum of the Republic, which showcase Brazil's diverse history and culture. Despite its many attractions, Rio de Janeiro also faces challenges such as high crime rates, poverty, and inequality. Nevertheless, the city remains a vibrant and exciting destination for tourists from all over the world. The Costa Verde The Costa Verde is a stretch of coastline in northern Spain that runs along the Bay of Biscay, from the border with France to the region of Cantabria. It is known for its rugged and rocky cliffs, beautiful beaches, and lush green landscapes. The Costa Verde is a popular destination for tourists who are looking to escape the crowds and enjoy a more relaxed and authentic Spanish experience. Some of the most popular destinations along the Costa Verde include San Sebastian, Bilbao, and Santander, which offer a mix of cultural attractions, outdoor activities, and stunning scenery. Visitors to the Costa Verde can enjoy a wide range of activities, including hiking in the Picos de Europa National Park, surfing along the coast, visiting historic towns and cities, and sampling the local cuisine. Some of the most popular dishes in the region include seafood, cheese, and cider, which are all produced locally. Overall, the Costa Verde is a beautiful and diverse region that offers something for everyone, whether you are interested in nature, culture, or adventure. Ilha Grande Ilha Grande is a tropical island located off the coast of Rio de Janeiro State, Brazil. It is known for its stunning natural beauty, with lush rainforests, pristine beaches, and crystal clear waters. The island is home to numerous hiking trails, waterfalls, and wildlife, including monkeys, birds, and sea turtles. Ilha Grande was once a prison island, but today it is a popular tourist destination attracting visitors from all over the world who come to enjoy its unspoiled beauty and laid-back atmosphere. Some of the island's most popular attractions include Lopez Mendez Beach, Praia do Aventurero, and the Pico do Papageo hiking trail. The island is also a great place for water sports, such as snorkeling, diving, kayaking, and stand-up paddleboarding. Visitors can also take boat tours to explore the surrounding islands and coves. With no cars on the island and limited development, Ilha Grande is a peaceful and relaxing retreat from the hustle and bustle of modern life. The Iguazu Falls The Iguazu Falls, also known as Iguazu Falls or Iguazu Falls, are a spectacular natural wonder located on the border of Argentina and Brazil. The falls consist of over 270 individual waterfalls and cascades, which stretch for approximately 2.7 kilometers, 1.7 miles, along the Iguazu River. The falls are situated within two national parks, the Iguazu National Park in Argentina and the Iguazu National Park in Brazil. The area is home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including jaguars, toucans, and caimans. The most famous waterfall in the Iguazu Falls is the Devil's Throat, Garganta del Diablo in Spanish or Garganta do Diabo in Portuguese, which is located on the border of Argentina and Brazil. This horseshoe-shaped waterfall is over 80 meters, 260 feet, high and 150 meters, 490 feet, wide, and is a breathtaking sight to behold. 
visitors to the Iguazu Falls can explore the parks on foot or by boat, and there are also a number of lookout points that offer stunning views of the falls. The area is a popular tourist destination and has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Overall, the Iguazu Falls are a truly remarkable natural wonder and are definitely worth a visit for anyone traveling to Argentina or Brazil. The Amazon Forest The Amazon Rainforest is the world's largest tropical rainforest, covering an area of approximately 6.7 million square kilometers across nine South American countries, including Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Bolivia, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana. It is home to an incredibly diverse array of flora and fauna, including over 40,000 plant species, 1,300 bird species, and thousands of other species of mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. The Amazon rainforest plays a crucial role in regulating the world's climate, as it acts as a carbon sink, absorbing and storing large amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It is also known as the lungs of the planet because it produces approximately 20% of the world's oxygen. However, the Amazon rainforest is currently facing a range of threats, including deforestation, mining, and agricultural activities. Deforestation, in particular, has been a major problem as vast areas of the rainforest have been cleared to make way for agricultural land, cattle ranches, and mining operations. This has not only resulted in the loss of biodiversity but has also contributed to climate change, as the carbon stored in the trees is released into the atmosphere when they are cut down, efforts are being made to protect the Amazon rainforest, including the establishment of protected areas, conservation projects, Lenkois Marinhenses National Park. Lenkois Marinhenses National Park is a protected area located in the state of Maranjo, Brazil. The park covers an area of approximately 155,000 acres, 1,550 square kilometers, and is known for its unique landscape of sand dunes and freshwater lagoons. The park is located in the northeastern part of Brazil, close to the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. The name Lenkois Maranhenses translates to Maranjo bedsheets in English, which refers to the white sand dunes that resemble bedsheets spread out across the landscape. These dunes can reach up to 40 meters in height and are constantly changing shape due to the wind and rain. One of the most unique features of the park are the freshwater lagoons that form in between the sand dunes during the rainy season. These lagoons are a beautiful turquoise color and provide a refreshing oasis for visitors to swim in. The park is home to a variety of wildlife, including several species of birds, reptiles, and mammals. Visitors can explore the park on foot or by 4x4 vehicle, and guided tours are available. The best time to visit Lenkois Marinhenses National Park is from June to September, when the lagoons are at their fullest. In addition to its natural beauty, Lenkois Marinhenses National Park also has cultural significance, as it is home to several small communities of indigenous people who have lived in the area for centuries. Overall, Lenkois Marinhenses National Park is a truly unique and stunning destination that offers visitors a chance to experience some of the most spectacular natural scenery in Brazil. The Colonial Towns of Minas Gerais The Colonial Towns of Minas Gerais are a group of historic towns located in the state of Minas Gerais, Brazil. These towns were established in the 18th and 19th centuries during the Gold Rush era in Brazil and they reflect the colonial architecture and cultural heritage of the time. Some of the most notable colonial towns in Minas Gerais include Auro Preto, Tiradentes, and Mariana. Auro Preto, which translates to black gold, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for its Baroque architecture, including its ornate churches and houses. Tiradentes is a charming town with cobblestone streets, colonial-style buildings, and a vibrant art scene. Mariana is one of the oldest towns in the region and is known for its colonial mansions and churches. Other colonial towns in Minas Gerais include São João del Rey, Diamantina, Sabara, and Congonhas. Each town has its own unique history and cultural significance, and they all offer visitors the chance to step back in time and experience Brazil's colonial past, in addition to their historic architecture and cultural heritage. 
the colonial towns of Minas Gerais also offer visitors the chance to sample some of the region's traditional cuisine and local crafts, such as handmade pottery and textiles. Overall, the colonial towns of Minas Gerais are a must-see destination for anyone interested in Brazil's rich history and cultural heritage.